So I recently bought a 27 inch 1440p monitor. That, this means that my resolution is now 2560 by 1440, which is great for ZBrush because suddenly I have a lot more space on my interface. Previously this was all full and I can now use that in future um, for commonly accessed tools. What it also means though unfortunately is that the text and everything else gets a lot smaller so it's going to be harder for me to show stuff um, in videos. So to get around that I'm going to be using the magnifying option. So if you press shift M, M as in mother, um, you'll see that you get this magnifying glass that will highlight stuff that you zoom over. And you can still use it and um, it will still turn on and off, it will still work. Um, you can look over renders um, and whether they're actually rendered or unrendered, that's, it doesn't really matter. Um, and we have the options for this magnifying glass because if you look at it you'll see that there's a kind of a banding going on around the outside and it kind of fades out and it's got shadows and it's kind of it looks a little bit weird to be honest it's not quite as clear as it could be and um, so what I'm going to do is go to preferences and under magnifying glass we can uh, change some things here so I can increase the radius first and uh, bring it up to 200 to the maximum we can change how much it zooms I think it's around here is fine uh, this fade value is how much the fade will come out on the side so this will be a little bit more obvious if we change the color to something else and then I zoom out you see that the red um, fade on the option on the outside there so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to turn this fade off we don't want that but you will see the distortion around the edge of the glass and um, so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to remove the curvature as well and now we have a much cleaner much clearer look we don't need the shadow it's not seeing it anyway because the fade isn't on and this is the thickness of the frame and um, that's fine um, and the magnifying curve we don't really want to adjust either because it actually works fairly well where it is so with this now we have a much clearer um, magnifying glass and I will be using this in future to show you features as I walk through them to, to turn it off just press shift M again um, and anytime you need it shift M will turn it back on again hope this tip helps if you're doing your own tutorials and uh, please do click like and subscribe and comment below if you have any other suggestions. Thanks. Bye.